In 2007, we had a forensic identification officer um, rig a uh, camera to a remote control plane, and uh, that was used for um, several purposes, and it was uh, noticed that it was a, a good tool for the OPP. Um, so he ran that for a couple years until we uh, expanded the program. And now we have 11 of these units, the uh, Arion Sky Rangers, and uh, four of an earlier type version um, within the province. And uh, with these are more like a, uh, a small helicopter uh, type of machine, so they can be controlled a, a little bit more, and, and that's what we're working with right now. We call our systems unmanned aerial systems, uh, not drones for the reason that uh, the term drone draws an inference to something that the military would use. Um, we don't use these for those types of things. Generally, we use them for search and rescue and traffic uh, reconstruction. We don't want to be, uh, we don't want to draw an inference to something that the military would use. It does things that we couldn't do before, um, and it's cost efficient. So we use this in functions that sometimes the helicopter would have been used with a much higher price tag. So this machine here, um, I mean, we can fly it for you know a small amount, a small amount of money, where a helicopter would cost hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars an hour to operate. These units here were purchased uh, for search and rescue and for traffic scene uh, reconstruction. Um, we use them for a couple other things, but that's basically what we have them for. You can outline an area where you want it to map. So you tell it you want it to map that, and uh, you just hit go and it'll create its own flight plan and it'll fly that scene taking pictures and then we have software to marry those images and we call it an ortho, uh, ortho mosaic image and that image is stitched together to create one big image. We realize that there are privacy concerns but we're using them strictly for investigative purposes and, uh, and we again we're abiding by all the legislation from the Aeronautical Act to uh, the Canadian Aviation Regulations and anything in place by uh, Transport Canada. Well, for the officers on patrol, when they're involved in an investigation that happens, uh, you know, right right now, uh, the resources are closer and they're more accessible. So, if we're looking for, say, a missing person, uh, we have that ability to, you know, have the drone available and up in the air more quickly than we would have, say, at the helicopter, uh, which would eventually make its way. But uh, we have something uh, tangible that's here that can really assist in. Uh, hopefully solving an investigation a lot quicker.